our defensive player of the game, Jeremy Fedulum, 14 tackles, 12 solo, a sack, two tackles for loss. But the big play, the fourth down, play in overtime. Talk about that. That was third down. I made the tag on third down. Trey Bug, uh, our corner who got an interception today, and he played an amazing game. He was the one that won the, won the game for us on fourth down, so credit to him. So on fourth down, you figure Chenault's probably going to get the football. Tell us where you were as part of that fourth down stop. I was uh, playing a too high safety, and I knew exactly where they were going. And I was, I was deep, and Trey was under, and they just ended up throwing back shoulder, and it, it played perfectly to what we did. So. You know, you're leading 23-10, but then CU grabs the momentum. And, and this is a game of momentum. And all of a sudden, you know, they tie the game up. What's running through your mind at that point? Um, just got to play each play and get ready for the next one, really. I mean, you can't really think about, oh, they have the momentum now. It's a momentum shift. The game of football is a big game of momentum. So you just said that. You just got to go out there and do your job and hope that the game goes your way. So Those may be the best wide receivers you'll face all year long. How were you able to slow them down today? Uh, I mean, we have we have a lot of talent on our side as well, and I think a lot of people uh, have been kind of sleeping on us with that. But it, along with that, we we ran a really good scheme, and we had two weeks to prepare for this team. And I think just mentally, as well as physically, we we were just really good today. So. And how much did the pass rush help? Because you got a lot of that today. Yeah, we did. Uh, it, the pass rush helps a ton. And I mean, J, uh, JJ and Lakota and all those guys up front. Just, great athletes as well so the whole team's looking really good right now congratulations thank you with fullback Taven Bordeaux how do you describe the last three and a half hours out here uh, it was a battle um, that's, that's the only way to put it uh, from the first snap to the last it was full go everybody was putting their heads down and it was a grind first and second quarter they just couldn't stop your offense you guys ran pretty much what you wanted to that at least that's what it seemed like yeah so um, that's that's how we operate you know whenever we just Throw it, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, grind it through their throat, you know, uh, run it down their throat. Uh, they're not going to be able to stop it. That's how we know how we operate. Um, once we get that momentum, you know, it's tough to stop us. Um, really, the only time that we get hurt is whenever we hurt ourselves. So, Did it feel like in the third and fourth quarters you lost some of that momentum a little bit? Uh, it's just small things. We make mistakes. Uh, like I said, we, we hurt ourselves at times. Um, it's just a matter of how you overcome those. Uh, like I said, we, some of us made mistakes, and we had to have other people pick us up. That's, uh, that's how it goes. Is it more than just a win because it's Colorado and because it's the Pac-12? Uh, I mean, there's a lot behind it. Uh, if it's a great feeling winning this game, uh, there's a lot of people coming into this said we weren't going to be able to keep up with their speed, you know, Pac-12 speed, uh, Pac-12 defense, you know, we can't handle them. Uh, so there's a lot more overcoming. I mean, it is dub. We're looking forward from here. Um, but it's a great feeling winning this game. Congratulations. Thank you. Troy, congratulations. That was quite a win. It was quite a game. You knew it was going to be close. It came down to the end. And your defense with a remarkable stop once you got the football. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I thought they played really, really well. You know, after the first drive, I thought it was really a key moment in the game, Jim. Uh, Colorado had a heck of a drive starting right there at the beginning and uh, with the turnover and we held them to a field goal. That was huge and uh, really kept it uh, within striking distance for us early. And not only that, you had three turnovers but they only scored three points off of those turnovers so even after that it was bigger and bigger the way your defense played. It was. Uh, you're right. That's a key part of the way we need to operate going forward too. Offensively uh, we saw some things we haven't seen actually maybe in a couple of years, especially with Caden and what did it mean to get him to the outside today? Well, it helps. Uh, he does have really, really good top end speed, and, uh, and yet at the same time, that means that we're doing a good job up front and doing a good job on the perimeter, too. Your offensive line, uh, they were remarkable today. They blew CU off the ball? I don't know about that. Colorado's pretty darn good. And, and I'll tell you what, give credit to Colorado. I mean, remarkable effort on their part, too. Uh, that's two weeks in a row where they've been sensational down the stretch of a game. And our guys hung in there and were pretty special down the stretch, especially over time, too. We talked the other night about throwing the ball. It's not so much how many times you throw it, but when you threw it. And today, you pick the right times, especially going deep. And the pass play to Waters was huge. It was. Uh, I think both him and uh, the pass play to Gerard were two big plays. Troy, congratulations. Thank you.